Hi everybody, Miss Laura from Valley Met here. Hope everybody staying home is staying well, staying busy, and this is a class to help you stay moving with the littlest kids. So this is for preschool age, but anybody can get up and do it with me. So give yourself a little bit of room. The more space you have, the better, but any type of space you have is fine. We're gonna start with a little warm up. So we're gonna start with the top of our body and work our way down, just moving different body parts. So we'll start with our head. Here we go. So just take a deep breath in and out, and then just start moving your head. Just see what your head can do. You can go up and down, side to side, or even around. And then let's add our shoulders. Again, they can go up and down, forward or backwards, and they can go around. How about one at a time? And then as you're moving those shoulders, let your body, the top of you and your arms add in, stretching and bending, curving that body a little bit. You can twist that upper body, arms start to move. And let's add our legs a little bit. Good, good job. Now standing tall, we're gonna let our body stretch and then let your body shrink. And do that again, let your body stretch. And let your body shrink. Now let your right side reach out and bring it back in. And let your left side stretch out and bring it back in. And now we're gonna stretch all the way tall. And we're gonna shrink all the way down till we're sitting on the floor. Now stretch those legs out for me. And we're gonna practice flexing and pointing our feet. So to flex, you lift those toes up and to point, you stretch them over. So it's bending and stretching your ankles and then we'll get into bending and stretching our legs, adding our arms, bending and stretching, and then even doing some rotating as well. Here we go. So keeping that body tall, those legs straight. There we go. So point those toes and flex them. So toes look down and toes look up. Good work, let's do that one more time. Stretch those ankles and flex them and then make some little circles with those feet. Good work. Now we're gonna bend your knees where you are. Bend them and stretch them. Good work, do that again. Bend your knees and stretch them. Add those arms, bend arms and legs and stretch. One more time, bend everything and stretch. Good work. And then let those legs and arms do a little twist, a little rotation. Good job. So we twist and bring in a little rotate and back. Rotate and back. Good job. Now let's stand our bodies up and we're gonna do a little bit more of that bend and stretch. So with that body tall, relax your shoulders. Legs start straight. So we bend our knees and stretch them straight. Good work and bend them and stretch them straight. Good job and another bend and stretch. 
And last time, bend those knees and stretch. And this time, add our arms, stretching arms and legs, stretching that body. And then let everything bend and let everything stretch. And let everything bend again and everything stretch. And then bend those arms and let them go out to the side. And bend them and let them go out to the side again. And this time we're gonna let one go up and one go down. And bring them in and let the other one go up and down. And change again, in and one up, one down. And in. And one up, one down, and in, one forward and one backwards. And bring them in and stretch forward and back. So a little twist with that body and stretch and bring it in and stretch. Bring this in and let's try that forward and back with the leg. Just let it go front and back. And try the other leg. Let it go front and back. Good work. And on both feet, see if you can have a leg go side to side. Good work. And try the other one. Let it go side to side. And one more time. Let that body stretch up and shrink all the way down and let that body stretch up again and let that body take a bend to one side and to the other side give yourself that stretch one more time over to each side up and over and stand tall. Good job. All right, so we've already talked about some opposites. We've gone up and we've gone down. We've gone right and we've gone left. We've let our legs go forward and backwards. We've done bend and straight and even our rotate and parallel. So now we're gonna just do moving our body forward and backwards. So I'm gonna scooch back a little bit so it'll, we'll just let our bodies move forward and then move backward. And you can decide, you can try different ways. You could do kicks to the front and kicks to the back. You could march. You could even try to jump if you want to. But remember, you get to do what you wanna do. You don't always have to do exactly what I'm doing. Here we go, moving forward and moving backwards. You could go slower and go backwards. How about tiptoes forward and backwards? Good job. How about little kicks? And backwards, letting that back lead as you go. Make sure there's nothing behind you. How about little jumps? And if you don't have enough room, just do everything in place. Just let your body move just a little bit. And backwards. Good, nice work. So one of the easiest opposites that we can practice is stop and go. So most of you probably have done something called the freeze dance. So when the music plays, you get to dance however you want to dance, but when the music stops, your body needs to stop. And remember, you don't have to do exactly what I do. Let your body do your own dance.
So do anything you want to do. You can march, jump and twist. You could do jump open and close. Do your own thing. Let the music stop. Did your body stop? Try it again. Anything you want to do? And keep going. And keep going. Good job, dancers. All right. So music can help us know how we're going to move. So the first pair of music I have that we're going to try is happy and sad. So think about how your body would move if you're happy. You would probably do skips or jumps and your body would probably stay up. But then when you're sad, your body kind of usually tends to slump down a little bit and you get a little bit lower. So listen carefully and when the music changes, let your body move the way the music sounds. Make sure your face looks happy too. Oh, and now it sounds sad. Let your body move like you're sad. We're happy again. How does your body move when you feel happy? Good work, dancers. Good job. So now we're going to talk about fast and slow. So for this one, I'm just going to play some different pieces of music. If the music sounds fast to you, let your body move fast. But if the music seems slow, Make your body move slow. Let's see. This one seems fast to me. Are you moving fast? You can skip. You can jump, you can twist and turn. But if the music stops, remember to freeze your body. Oh, this one seems slower. Can your body move slowly? Keep moving slow until we have the music stop. A little faster again.
It's faster, so let your body move faster. Anything your body wants to do, that's a little faster. Did you stop when the music did? Let's try this one. So that one's slower again. Arms can move slowly. Legs can move slowly. You can even go to a lower level like we were before. And see how you can move closer to the floor. Good job, dancers. Let's try one more fast and slow to see how you can move fast. Good job, are you moving fast? What can your body do that's fast? And let's try one more. What do you think? They can bend, they can stretch, they can reach, grow and shrink. The body can wiggle and squiggle, twist and turn. Are you moving slow? Did your body freeze when the music stopped? Good work. We'll do one more opposite. This one is light and heavy. So when you listen to the music, think light, up, bubbles bouncing, feathers floating, things staying up in the air, being up, and then we'll hear the music change and it'll feel more heavy. So think of carrying something heavy or your body being hard to move off of the floor. So let's try that one last opposite, heavy and light. Also light. So thinking up, heavier. Down lower. Let that body feel closer to the ground. Oh, and back up. As light as a feather. Oh, and it kind of 
finishes a little higher. Well done, dancers. Good job. Well, that's all the time we have right now. So let's do one little cool down just to take a bow and finish the day. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Again, breathe it in and let it out. Let that body get bigger. And then standing tall and everybody take a bow. Well done, dancers. I hope you had fun, and I hope you're staying healthy and well. Bye.